What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a classic drug story. Before I dive into that, I want to mention a couple things. First off, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, I'm doing a giveaway on my old graphics card, the NVIDIA Titan X 12 gig. Absolutely monstrosity of a card. I don't know why I said absolutely, I just fucked that up. Just, it's an animal of a card. I, I don't really know where I was going with that statement, so I had to like improvise pretty quickly but yeah either way giveaways linked in the description for all of you guys who want it even if you're not a pc gamer still something worth entering this graphics card is worth like damn near a thousand dollars at this point so i mean even if you're not into gaming you could just sell it and buy what you want but yeah either way hope you guys enjoy this video drop a like if you do and also don't forget to check out my instagram twitch twitter all that stuff in the description below and also we got some overwatch gameplay today not Call of Duty, I decided to switch it up a little bit, hopped on Overwatch, I used to do a lot of gameplays on this game, and I hope you guys will enjoy the gameplay, let me know what you think in the comments below, I'm not the best at the game, but I try, so yeah, either way, let's dive into it, so, Triple C's at school, now this happened a long time ago, this happened around a year ago, actually, like, from today, I know it was like January or February of 2016, either early February or late January, because it was right around when I started my alternative school so basically how this played out was at this point I had like a couple boxes of triple c's at home and I believe there's like 20 triple c's per box and they each have 30 milligrams of dxm which is for a little pill that's pretty potent considering the amount of pills that comes in the box that's basically 600 milligrams of dxm per box of triple c's so I went to school this particular day and I would never go to school sober at this alternative school. I never would, you know, and the reason being that at this school, everybody did drugs and everyone showed up fucked up. So all they really cared about at this point was no one overdosing at school, which has happened more often than you would think. This happened like, I'd say three times a month, you know, almost every week there would be some kid ODing on something at school. It was bad, but anyways, so... I get to school this particular day, and I'm still kind of baked. I'm a little bit baked. I would always wake and bake before school. And I'm sitting in English class, and I had these triple C's in my bag. I had the whole box, but it was already opened, and I had maybe like 11 or 12 of them left. I didn't take that many, but I was really bored coming down from my high and was just not feeling in the best mood that day. You know, I was just, I had a shitty morning, I guess. I don't really know what it was. So I went to the bathroom. And the bathroom is the spot where everyone does drugs. It's, it's the spot where people sell drugs, people do drugs, anything but weed gets consumed in there, you know, unless it's an edible, kids will eat edibles, but you know, no one's going to smoke a blunt in the bathroom. That's a little too obvious. I mean, people have, but you know, it's not something that's like a habitual daily thing because like vaping in the bathroom, you know, they don't really care about that. They just care about the drugs. So, you know, you'll always have like the the principal or like one of the teachers coming into the bathroom and like kicking us all out because we're chilling in there you know and they know what's up like they can't catch us with it because we'll always have some kid standing by the door listening but that we'll, we'll always kind of know what's up you know and they know what's up too they they know what's going on so anyways i'm in the bathroom and i'm in there alone at this point it's the middle of class which is surprising because usually there's always someone chilling in the bathroom and i open my backpack i go sit in a stall and i'm like all right do I pop these triple C's or not? Now, this was kind of like towards the end of my DXM phase where I was kind of getting into other drugs a little more and a little less triple C's and DXM and all that crap. But I, this was all I had at the time, you know? And I was a fucking drug fiend at this point, you know? Like, if it would intoxicate me, I would do it. You know, I'd, I'd set boundaries for myself. Like, I was like, all right, heroin and meth, I would never do. But anything else, I would just slam in me. I didn't give a fuck. So, anyways... I bust out the box of triple C's and I look inside it. There's like 11 or 12 left. I took out seven of them. I was like, all right, that's a good amount. 210 milligrams of DXM. No problem. I can handle that. So I downed the seven of them and I had a bottle of water with me. I always had my water with me. So slammed them all with a bottle of water, chilled in the bathroom for like maybe five, 10 more minutes, just texting people, listening to music a little bit. And then I went back to English. So I was sitting in English and the period had like just started when I went and did this. So I was maybe like 15 minutes into my English class sitting there and maybe it was towards the end. I know that much. It was definitely towards the end. I started to feel the onset, you know, the triple C is kind of starting to hit me. And, you know, triple C's in particular, but almost any cold med, but triple C's in particular, at least for me, make me really nauseous, you know, make me feel like I have to throw up. So I started feeling sick towards the end of class. And I also felt that like, 
I don't know what to call it, like the lightheadedness, you know, just feeling like your your body weight is non-existent, like very foggy in the mind, you know, that that started to come on to me. And I'd done triple C's a good amount, so I didn't get too fucked up here, but I almost threw up. You know, what happened was I was feeling like shit. I went to the bathroom and I just sat in a stall for like maybe 10 minutes because my stomach was hurting and I was like, I'm going to fucking puke. There's no way, dude. I'm going to throw up. So I was sitting in there. Other motherfuckers, some of my homies, some kids who I just kind of knew came in the bathroom were like, yo, what the fuck? Like, who's in that stall? You good, bro? And I was just like, yeah, you know, and since everyone at the school did drugs, you can openly talk about it. So I was like, yeah, bro, I just popped some triple C's and I'm feeling kind of shitty. And they were just like, oh, well, shit, bro, you need a sip of water? I'm like, nah, I got water. And they're like, all right, well, shit, stay smooth, you know? And then they just walk out of the bathroom. So I didn't end up throwing up, although I really thought I was going to. So What ended up happening was I got up, went out of the bathroom, you know, went back to class. And at this point, English was done. So I went to my second period class, which was science. Now, science class was interesting on this particular day. You know, I was still I was still pretty fucked up. You know, not still. I don't know why I said still. I literally just started feeling fucked up. So I was decently fucked up at this point. Definitely not in any position to, you know, do any education related things. And we're sitting in class, and the kid who sits next to me, we're going to call him Roman. Now, Roman is a fucking fool. This man, like, not in a bad way. He's a funny dude. You know, like, I, I miss him. I love Roman. I think he got locked up. I don't know what happened to him. But anyways, this guy would always bring, like, technology to school and give it to me. It was always, I'm 99% sure it was hot property. It was definitely stolen shit. But, you know, he gave one of my buddies an iPad and said, if you can't unlock it, just keep it. You know, and he gave me a laptop just for the hell of it. Like we're sitting in class on this particular day and he opens his bag and he's like, yo, Nick, I got something for you, bro. And I'm like, all right, what's up? You know what you got? And he busts out this shitty little Lenovo laptop. You know, it's like, it's not good. It's not a nice laptop. I can't play games on it, but I can browse the internet. You know, I might be able to play Minecraft and he busts it out and he's like, bro, I can't figure out the password to this thing. That's how I knew they were stolen. I was like, he was like, bro, I can't figure out the password to this thing. You want it, bro? It's all yours. You know how to get into these? And I was like, not really, but I mean, if you don't want it, I'll take it. And he's like, all right, here. So he just gave it to me and never asked for it again. It's I actually still have it. It's under my bed. Like I, I still fucking have this laptop from Roman. And anyways, so he gives me that laptop and I'm just like, I'm I'm pretty fucked at this point, so like I, I just kind of start laughing just at the concept of I'm sitting here off triple C's and this kid sitting next to me in class just handed me a stolen laptop to keep. Like just just what the fuck is going on right now is basically what I was thinking. So you know I take the laptop, put it in my backpack. I never had shit in my backpack but drugs. So like drugs and like tobacco. That's all I really ever carried in my bag to school because there was no homework at this school. That was that was one of the nice things. No fucking homework. Like, everybody. no, Like, literally no homework. I don't mean, like, a little bit. Like, they had a rule on no homework. So, anyways, he hands me this laptop, and I'm sitting there. And our teacher, we're gonna call him Mr. J. He's a cool motherfucker. He's funny. But... It was test day, and I did not realize it. And he hands out this big-ass unit test. This big-ass biology test. And I'm just sitting here dumbfounded. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why? What's happening right now? And there's a girl who sat across from me. We're going to call her... What are we going to call her? We're going to call her Shelly. So, Shelly's sitting across from me. Roman's to my right. And... Shelly knows I'm fucked up. Me and Shelly knew each other pretty well at this point. She would drive me to school a lot. And she's like, yo, are you good? Like, what did you do? And I was like, I'm off the triple C's right now. So I'm going to fucking flunk this test. And she's like, just copy my shit. I'll push it towards you. So she takes her test and like pushes it a little closer to me. And I try to copy it. But I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this. But you know how like when you're high on really almost any drug except for like Adderall or any of that like amphetamine shit, especially like... DXM it feels like for me you really don't give a shit about anything that should be important you know that was me so like I I very clearly could have copied her test and I copied like the first three questions that I was just like why am I copying like I really don't give a fuck right now so I just slammed down random answers in all the questions and turned it in I bombed that test I got like a 23 percent or some shit it was horrible so now at this point second period ends third period comes around third period for me was some weird class it was like american history through film so like we just watched movies on history it was pretty chill so i sat next to roman in this class too me and roman had a lot of classes together and 
we're chilling and he's talking to me about this laptop and he's like, Hey bro, you know, if you can get into that laptop, let me know. You know, I don't want it back. That's all yours, but just let me know. You know, I want to know if you good with that shit. Cause I'll have more shit coming your way. And I, I was like, okay, you know, I'll let you know, Roman. I'll, I'll definitely, you know, I'll tell you what's up with that Roman. So we're sitting there. We watched this, this random ass movie. I don't know what the fuck it was. Roman was knocked the fuck out. I was just on my phone the whole time, tweeting, listening to music, that shit. Class ends, and my next class is gym. Now, at this point, I'm starting to somewhat come down. I've still got the foggy feeling. I still definitely feel lightweight, lightheaded, and fucked up, but I'm coming down a little bit. You know, it's not as intense as it was in second and first period. So, I go to my fourth period gym class, and we're playing volleyball. We always played volleyball. It was either volleyball or basketball and nothing else. And on this day, we're playing volleyball. Now, sober me, I'm actually pretty decent at volleyball, but fucked up me? Oh, man. Let me tell you guys. (laughs) It was bad. So... I'm playing volleyball and I'm just missing the fucking ball. Like it's so open. No one's contesting my shot. No one's near me. It's clearly coming to me. And I like jump up and react like two seconds late almost every time. Like just imagine like watching a volleyball game from the stands and just seeing some dude who's visibly just very fucked up and reacting way too late. That was basically me. Excuse me. I just like burped there. I don't know what that was. But anyways, yeah, yeah, it was just a catastrophe of a gym class to say the least so anyways after that you know that not much really happened I kind of came down kind of relaxed chilled out maxed and relaxed all cool and that's my fifth period class which was some weird class it was like they had a lot of weird electives at this school because it was an alternative school and not like a regular one they had to like improvise so it was like it was some weird it was like American history no it was like it was like a music class it was like history of music from the 1970s like just such a weirdly particular class like that no regular school would have like just this really fucking weird elective and I'm sitting in there and I'm coming down at this point and there's this girl this girl in there who we're gonna call Ashley who ended up talking to for a little while and you know, I kind of liked her at this point. She was pretty good looking and she's off the fucking bars. She's just fucked up. And she comes stumbling over to my desk and she's like, Hey Nick. And like, she sits next to me and she's like, I don't want to go back to my desk. I'm just going to sit next to me. But she didn't say it that quickly. You know, she was barred the fuck out. I don't know how much she took, but she took him. And she sits next to me and she's just like face down, knocked the fuck out throughout the rest of the period after she sits down. I'm sitting here, you know, starting to really sober up at this point, just watching this movie and trying to like make sure this girl next to me isn't fucking dead. And then the period ends and, you know, not, not much really happened. She got back up. I had to kind of nudge her up, had to wake her up. Then we went to next class. She had lunch. I had, I believe it was geometry after that. So, you know, I went to that class. I t- yes, I took geometry as a junior. Okay, I failed it like three times. I actually, I still haven't passed geometry to this day. I swear, it's the hardest fucking subject. If you if you try to tell me that any other kind of math is harder than geometry, you're a goddamn liar, all right? You're a fucking liar, I promise you. But anyways, especially if you say algebra, then I'll know you're on some foo shit. But anyways, that's all I really got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to check out the giveaway in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.